Hi, I'm Malcolm, the developer of Wear Button Remapper. Today I'm going to show you how to use Wear Button Remapper on a Samsung Galaxy Watch. So let's open the app. There it is. And we can see a welcome screen here with some tips on how to use the app. And it's worth taking the time to read this, but for now I'll just tap OK. We need to give accessibility permission for the app to work. So let's do that. Go to the installed apps, where button remapper, turn it on, and right swipe until we're back in where button remapper. Now this screen shows the current button mappings, and of course we haven't set up anything yet. So let's go to the next screen. And most recent Wear OS watches, including this Samsung Galaxy Watch, have two buttons. One button, in this case the top button, is reserved for the operating system. So today we'll focus mostly on the bottom button and how to make it do some useful things. So let's go to the button remap screen and we can assign selected apps to open with a short press, a long press, two short presses or three short presses. Let's start by mapping one short press and let's choose, let's choose my Wear Podcatcher app and let's remap a long press to We'll say keep notes. And finally, two short presses. Let's remap that. And what should we choose? Let's choose my Wear FTP server app. Now we can also override uh, one app to be uh, overridden by another. Uh, there are three different um, options for doing that. Let's just do the first one. Uh, app to be overridden. Let's say flashlight. And let's change that to say the calculator. Now I've chosen the flashlight because this might be useful for the middle button on the Galaxy Watch Ultra. Uh, you can override the flashlight to open any other app. Uh, obviously I don't have a middle button on this watch, but that might be useful if you have an Ultra. While we're here, let's have a quick look at settings. We can change the, uh, the default times for short presses and long presses here. We can also prevent default apps from opening on short button presses. There's, there's more about this in the help screen at the start. I won't go into that too much now. And done. And so let's do a final check that everything is as we want it. So one short press, wear podcatcher. One long press, keep notes. Two short presses, wear FTP server. And override flashlight with calculator. Type save. And let's give it a try. So if I do one short press, that opens my Wear Podcatcher app, as expected. Let's do one long press. That opens uh, Samsung Pay, which is the default app but then it opens Keep Notes on top, which is what we wanted. And let's do two quick presses. And this is my Wear FTP server app. Now, let's just open the flashlight from here. Imagine this was on a Galaxy Watch Ultra and you're opening the flashlight with the middle button. 
and it overrides it to whichever app we choose. In this case, I chose the calculator, but you could obviously choose any app. So in other videos, I'll show how to install Web Button Remapper, and I'll also, also demonstrate on a Pixel Watch. I'll include links to those videos in the notes below this one. You can find Wear Button Remapper, FreePop Downloader, and all my other free apps at my FreePop website. Again, see the, see the links in the notes to this video. That's about it for now. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.